Hi guys, this video is about getting information from an atom model. What you have here is a Bohr model of a mystery atom. How do you find out what it is? Well, use the strategy I taught you called 8-man, just like this. And with this information, you're going to be able to determine um, what each of these is. So um, let's first look at the... Um, uh, the model in the middle. I don't know which ones are protons and which ones are neutrons. I, the green ones could be neutrons, the green ones could be protons, or the orange or red ones. I mean, we don't know. So, let's go with the ones we do know. And the ones we definitely know is these things. Those are electrons. So if I count how many electrons, one, two, three, four, I know there's four electrons. Four electrons means there's four protons. Because in eighth grade, the protons and electrons equal each other with stable atoms. Whatever the proton count is, that's the atomic number. Knowing the atomic number tells us what atom we're working with. Because atomic number on the periodic table, 4, is beryllium. Once I know that, I can actually look up on a periodic table the mass number. Easy. Um, I already got the A up here once, so I can fill it in again, because these two are the exact same. I just want you to know that. Now, just do 9 minus 4 and you get the number of neutrons. So just with the information in the model, you could now tell me which ones are the neutrons, which ones are the protons, and which ones are the electrons. Those are easy because they're indicated here. Um, so we know that the green are the protons because there's four protons, four green dots. We know that there's five neutrons because it says right here in 8-man, and there's five uh, orange or red dots. The yellow ones are the electrons, and that's it, guys. That's how you determine the identity of an atom just with a picture. You have to use 8-man. If you can't see the protons and neutrons and they're not labeled, go with the electrons. It helps you figure it out. 